Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. Checking this out. Here we are, and this is uh, the first test. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. And that looks good. Checking this out. I'll put that low so it doesn't um, bounce back, but I want you needed to see this. Yeah. Welcome. This is live stream test number two. Um, using uh, basically the the same get up that I used before. It's it's uh, so what I have here is a. Let me turn this down a little bit more. Um, uh, basically, what I have is going to be a three camera, two cameras, and one desktop um, production all through the ATEM switcher. Um, let me switch over to camera two here. Uh, so the added. Uh, feature to what I did yesterday, um, and I'll frame this a little bit better, the added feature to what I did yesterday was uh, I got this little puppy right here, and I didn't hit the record button, so I'm going to start this again, because this is all about the record as well, so let's hit this, three, two, one, all right, here we go, hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek, and I've now got the live stream unit all set, ready to go. We're going to be doing a two-camera unit. Uh, third uh, video is going to actually be the TV, the, uh, the the computer monitor, and uh, go from there. The missing piece from yesterday is this little puppy right here. Up, oh, you're not seeing this. Let's flip over here. This little puppy right here. This is the Atmos Ninja Two, um, and I don't have the SSD drive. Uh, people at Atmos told me that I can actually use. Uh, a regular hard drive. So I had a 500 gigabyte hard drive in here uh, that I could use. So I'm going to test this out and see how this works. Straight up record. It records in ProRes. So it's going to be a very, very big file. <laughs> and I'll need to, of course, uh, bring it down to MP3 standards so I can upload it to uh, YouTube or whatever um, when I am done. But basically, here's how it works. We have and I should have hooked up another camera to this, but what we have is the MacBook Pro, which is right here. Let's switch over here. We got the MacBook Pro, which is right here. We have underneath it, we have the Black Magic ATEM Production Studio 4K, which can do up to eight different video signals. It can also do a lower third graphic. It can also do, a, it can do two different types of keyed graphics. And... Basically, what I'll probably do is I'll have the main graphic, you know, like a big page of graphic uh, on top there, and then I'll have the lower third graphic uh, for these types of shoots that I'm doing here. Nothing fancy, nothing extreme. If I need to do something more extreme, then I'll figure that out and go from there. So basically, we have three camera shots. We have camera one, which is this one. We have camera two, which is right here. And then, of course, camera three, which is the... Uh, which is the, the basically the, the, the computer screen. So you're kind of seeing me um, because I'm watching this, and this is the stream now, um, which is part of YouTube now, and actually really nice because I can go right into Wirecast. I can turn around, and I can hit the, hit the stream button, and it's instantly streaming. As long as my credentials are in there, I can stream from there, and, and I think that's pretty sweet because I could go live in an instant. If I had, you know, something, you know, where I, you know, somebody said, hey, come on down, bring your cameras and start streaming now, then I could do that. It might take a little bit for like two or three cameras set up. But if I take my MacBook, I have the, the Black Magic. This is the, uh, I don't know if I want to move this, but we'll see. You know, the Black Magic Intensity Pro, which uh, this is something I've always had. And with this, this is what I push it into the MacBook Pro with. And I have the Blackmagic card in my PC, which, of course, also allows that to do that. So, And what's what happening is this is the, the structure, the flow of the video. So two cameras and, of course, the computer screen. 
all coming in. They'll come into the ATEM. The ATEM will then HDMI out into the Blackmagic box. That will split. Through Thunderbolt, it'll go through Wirecast, and you'll see it as a stream. On the other side, there's the HDMI out, and the HDMI out will go to the Animus. Now, I thought of doing, the, doing a daisy chain out from the Blackmagic to the Animus to, the, uh, to the, the Intensity Pro, but I think that this is a better option here. And, of course, I'll, well, I'll test it because the biggest, the biggest issue is the audio. And right now, as you can see with this, I have the audio from my mixer right here going out here, that going into the box, into my MacBook Pro for the streaming. Therefore, this is how it's all going to work when we go to stream when, and, and go from there. And what I'll do is for Wirecast, um, as, uh, as a speaker, this is going to be 15-minute sessions. 15 minutes on, then 15 minutes uh, as people get reset for the next session. So you'll see uh, probably a, uh, a logo, and that logo will actually be controlled through Wirecast, not through the ATEM software control. So then I'll, I'll be doing some of this stuff on the stream, and it'll be, it'll be going through the stream, but will not be recorded onto the main uh, video. And that's the important thing, because, you know, if somebody says something or something gets passed, you know, like if I put up a Twitter feed or something like that and I mess up and somebody says something bad, then it only goes through the stream. It doesn't go through the actual recording. So I can go back, I can scrub that easily and go from here. And of course, this is high quality ProRes recording right here. And we'll see what happens. I'm trying to do about 15 minutes of this recording and uh, right now I'm doing th on the stream I'm doing three hundred about three to five hundred kilobits per second at thirty frames a second, which has given me a CPU cycle pretty low. I'm really happy about that. This one uh, looks like we've been about five minutes thirty nine seconds, five minutes forty seconds because the time code is running on the bottom here, and of course it will have time code with it. So um, I'll be able to if I needed to sync it up with something else, I can sync it up with something else. And go from there. So, and of course, if I need to switch it, we can switch it back and forth between the presenter's screen, which of course, this will not look like this. Right now, we've got the YouTube running. Um, camera one, camera one will basically be the presenter and the presentation on the screen. And then, of course, camera two will be more of a close-up shot of the presenter. So we can now run through three different cameras. I can put a fourth camera on if I want to. Um, I can I can put six or yeah six more cameras on if I want to. Uh, but uh, you know we're just gonna, we're just gonna do the three for now and see what happens. Go from there. So that is pretty much it. And uh, it's looking pretty good. It's 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 uh, the ninja's a little bit warm. Everything of course is gonna run a little bit warm. We've got fans blowing back here between all the devices, but looking good, and I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with what's happening right now. So I can turn around, and I can use this. This is, will be a very stable system. Really excited about seeing how it's gonna work when we uh, we start to use this in the production at, uh, at next week and go from there. So anyway, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. I know there's not much here. I'm just explaining what's going on and all the switching back and forth, but it's my tests to make sure that everything's working. And uh, if you want to inquire about the gear, I'll put a link in the show notes uh, where you can get all this gear and what I'm using. And, of course, uh, the cameras, uh, they're a little bit past date, so there's new ver newer versions out there. I'll probably put up the newer versions um, and go from there. So thanks a lot for watching, you guys geek out, and we'll see you next time i'm going to stop this recording right now looks good and then we're going to stop the stream thanks a lot and uh geek out guys ciao